Hi, my name is Ella Schaus, and today I'll be presenting on my research entitled Argonaut, an inclusive design process for wearable health monitoring systems. Real-time biosignal monitoring is a critical aspect of human-computer interaction and is seen in many areas of work, including health diagnosis and monitoring, context awareness software, psychophysiology, human-robotic interaction, and augmented learning. Within this research space, it has been seen that there are gender discrepancies that prevent the continued development and access of wearable garments to a large percentage of the population. Argonaut is our solution to gender discrepancies in wearable technology. It puts anthropometric factors at the forefront of the design process in order to provide a functional and aesthetic wearable health monitoring system. Cardiac monitoring is the continuous inspection of heart signals through an electrocardiogram or ECG. The ECG signal is composed of five main waveforms, which includes the P, Q, R, S, and T waveform. The ECG signal can provide information about a person's physical and cognitive states when looking at aspects such as RR interval or the duration between the dominant R peaks. Traditional ECG electrodes are cumbersome and uncomfortable, making them inadequate for everyday wear and long duration monitoring. Signal quality that is suboptimal in ECG electrodes is often caused by poor fit and decreased skin to sensor contact. This can be exasperated in textile sensors due to the lack of adhesive backing that is present in traditional sensors. Gender inequality in the design space is prevalent in many industries, including HCI. It has been shown that differences in gender are a key component of product performance, including areas of learning materials, software interaction, and problem-solving software. Women anthropometry presents specific design challenges. For this research, women are defined as individuals that have physical anthropometric characteristics that correspond to the presence of estrogen and progesterone, such as breast tissue. In the designing of Argonaut, it was critical that a balance between form and function was achieved. For wearable technology, there are specific design requirements that need to be fulfilled in order to create a functional and aesthetic garment. These requirements include unintrusive and discrete design, adequate comfort, continuous data collection, and durability and reliability. In addressing these requirements, specific design aspects were targeted, including textile sensor development, compression garment selection, foam inserts, and electrical and data acquisition device. In doing this, we developed a highly functional garment that achieved adequate comfort. In the figure to the right, you can see the traditional ECG system as well as our Argonaut system with all the design aspects identified. There are five critical design aspects for Argonaut. The first is textile sensors. The sensors are a 1 by 15 sateen woven electrode with steel wool in the left or left right direction. For the compressive garments, four different elastic garments were evaluated and two were ultimately design selected based on design requirement criteria for sensor integration, including neckline height, garment length, and closure mechanism integration. Closure mechanisms, two methods were evaluated, a front zipper and a back snap. It was found that this snap configuration produced a less noisy signal, which is shown in the figure to the right. Foam inserts were a critical design aspect and greatly improved signal quality and overall comfort. Due to the concavity in the chest created by the breast tissue, sensors can easily lift off the chest creating poor signal. And it, the addition of foam was critical in order to maintain skin to sensor contact. In all 15 different foam configurations were assessed and it was found that 50 millimeters of memory foam produced the highest quality ECG signal and was determined to be the most comfortable. The final design aspect was the electrical and data acquisition device integration. This was done through electrical wires in the placement of the data acquisition on the body. Since the base compression garment is elastic, it is common for wires to develop micro tears when pulled or strained. Flexible silicone coating wires were determined to be more durable than traditional wiring and allows the flexibility needed for the wearable garment. 
The data acquisition pack, which needed to be placed on the body during use, was found to be most comfortable in the back, but was ultimately placed on the right rib in order to increase accessibility. These figures show the first and second iteration of Argonaut. You can see the difference between the two iterations in the choice of base compression garment, closure mechanism, and data acquisition location. These design decisions were completed through a series of performance and comfort tests in order to optimize each aspect of the garment. In order to validate Argonaut's final design decisions, we did a series of tests. Four female participants performed four different motions, sitting, arm flexion and extension, arm abduction and adduction, and walking. These motions were performed with the traditional ECG system as well as Argonaut. The assessment of the garment was done through a noise score, which is defined as the number of false positives, false negatives, divided by true positives and false negatives. An algorithm was de developed to identify peaks, while visual inspection was done in order to determine the number of false positives, false negatives, and true positives. A noise score of zero indicates that all peaks were actively identified. A comfort survey was also administered after each test for both traditional and the garment ECG systems to assess user performance. The results found that all our peaks from all subjects in all motions were able to be identified for Argonaut. Argonaut was also able to accurately identify smaller waveforms such as the P, Q, S, and T waveforms. In the figure to the right, it shows the ECG signal of the traditional system as well as Argonaut when performing arm flexion and extension. You can see the circles show correctly identified R peaks by the algorithm. For the comfort survey, Argonaut was reported to be less obtrusive to motion and more comfortable for long duration wears. It was observed that traditional adhesive electrodes left red irritated patches on the skin while there was no visible irritation after wearing Argonaut. In conclusion, this research addresses the gaps for the need to develop wearable technology specifically for the women's form. Argonaut was ultimately able to achieve sufficient functional performance while increasing comfort and mobility when compared to traditional ECG systems. Through the use of this design process, we can use to develop ECG garments for a wider range of body types. If you have any questions, please contact me, Alice Schaus, at the email below. Thank you.